Hi everyone, welcome to my class. Today I'm going to talk about file input and output. What is the file? Actually, everything is file in the operating systems. Data file is file. We usually call it regular file. Directory is also file. As you can see, device, socket, pipe, link, all are also file. As you know, we can view the information of file by typing ls command. ls command displays file type, ownership, and permissions. Let's see the example. From the left side, we can read drwx r-x r-x The first bit may be set for one of the file types. For example, D is directory, C is character device, B is block device, S is socket, P is pipe, L is symbolic link, like this. The remaining part is for file ownership and permissions. The ownership of a file is used to determine the access right available to users of the file. Unix and Linux system divide users in the three categories. Owner, group, others. Owner means user. User means the owner of the file. Group means users who are members of the group matching the file's group ID. Others means the rest of the world. The symbol RWX means file permission bit. R means read permission. It allows the contents of the file to be read. W means write permission. It allows modification of the contents of the file. X means execute permission. It allows execution of the file. Let's see the concept of file input and output. This is user process or program and this is system calls and that is file. As you can see, there are several system calls for file input and output. Open function, read function, write function, and close function. Let's see the copy operation for the example. First, the user process calls open function in order to open file using file descriptor. The black one is file descriptor. File descriptor is very important because it is used to refer to all type of open files including pipe, files, socket, terminals, devices, and regular files. Next, user process calls read functions to read data from the open file. The data transferred to the buffer. Next, user process calls write functions in order to write data in the buffer to the other open file. At this point, the open file will be created. Finally, user process calls close function to close the files. Actually, it closes an open file descriptor. This is the whole process of file input and output, such as copy operations, using open, read, write, close system calls. Okay, until now, we have learned the concept of file input and output, what is file, what is file types, what kind of types are there, file ownership, and file permission. For example, uh, copy operations, 
we can just call the system calls open, read, write, close for the file input and output. Thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye.